To draw this cool giant tortoise drawing, you're going to need a pencil, a pen, an eraser, and your choice of colouring medium. I'm going to be using coloured pencils, but you can use anything that you like. Let's get started. So we're going to start off our giant tortoise with a big oval shape in the centre of the page. So oval shape doesn't have to be perfect and please don't press too hard because we're going to have to raise this at the end. These are just our guidelines. Remember if I go too quickly at any point just hit pause and rewind. I'm now going to add a little pointy bit here. It's going to be part of the shell. There we go. And underneath it's going to be the foot. So we're going to be drawing a semicircle, or a sort of semicircle, with a flat bottom, just like that. Now we're going to be doing the head. The head's going to be a circle. It's going to be overlapping this oval shape that we did before, roughly about that size. Now for the front leg. So a little way down from that first circle that we did, we're going to be drawing a long kind of sausage shape, something a bit like this. We're then going to follow that sausage shape by another sausage shape, which is going to be the other leg on the right hand side. So I'm just going to draw another elongated oval shape over here. We're going to add the feet. So a little foot poking out from underneath here. And then another one just poking out from this one here. We're then going to extend the shell, which is going to come out from just starting here. We're going to be going up round behind this front leg, goes round here, goes all the way round, and then it joins up where this oval shape hits that circle. Then going to add the neck. So one side of the neck's already done because we're just going to follow that oval shape. Just all that we need is a line coming down here. And then the inside of the shell is starting here where this line hits this sausage shape, comes up and then comes, if you can imagine it goes behind the neck, comes all the way around. And just before it hits the bottom of the shell, we're gonna do a little sharp turn and come back in round like that. So I'm gonna switch to pen. Please carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it better on camera. We're going to start off with two little nostrils just here in the top left hand part of this circle up here. So one little nostril and one little nostril there. Then going to do the rest of the kind of the nose area comes down like that. Now for the mouth, which is going to be a couple of zigzags. So one zigzag and one zigzag like this. Now for the eye, which is rather large. A big oval shape, just like that. I'm going to leave a little bit white to show the reflection of the light, and I'm going to colour in the rest, just like so. Then we're going to come round here. If my pen decides to work. Goes up round here, flat at the top, and then round here, and then down, and then it joins the neck part just down here. I'm going to Draw a couple of folds in the neck. One comes up round here, underneath the chin, and just like that. I'm going to be drawing the rest of the, the mouth area. So this comes up and round and goes inwards. Another fold, another fold. They're very, very wrinkly and stops just there. Just going to draw the other eye on the other side. You can't see it too much. Next, we're going to be drawing the limbs. So this one actually starts over here. So starting it over here, we're then going to join these preparatory lines that we did before. Comes all the way down. And there's a couple of folds, one fold, another fold, and then it goes into the foot giant toes. There we go. And another one comes round, follows along. And then we follow this preparatory line that we did before. So the giant Galapagos tortoises, they're the biggest tortoise species and they can be more than five feet long. 
So if I were lying down on the floor, they'd be longer than me. There we go. Not that I'm five foot. I'm five foot two and a half. Half makes all the difference. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now for the other leg. So this one starts just here where we did it before. Comes all the way around till we get to here. And it goes inwards and out. And then we've got these incredible toes with their giant toenails. There we go. So the average lifespan is over 100 years. And the oldest recorded tortoise lived to be 176 years old. And she was believed to be among the tortoise species that were collected by Charles Darwin in 1835 when he visited the Galapagos Islands. Isn't that just incredible? There we go. And then one more. There we go. So there's a big fold there. Another fold that goes upwards. Flap of skin here. And then it goes up like this. And then inwards. And this is just the bottom part of the shell. So just a line like that. We're then going to do the rest of the inside of the shell. So slightly wiggly line here goes behind here. We're following this preparatory line, but we're just making it slightly more wiggly. Goes all the way around and inwards. Then going to finish it off underneath. and then round like so. So we're gonna carry on with the shell. We're gonna do the external kind of like little frill bit. So that goes in like that. We're gonna make it slightly wiggly. This will make more sense in a second. Goes behind the head. And then you can just see one little bit and this goes upwards like that and then one going downwards like so just like so we're now going to add all the different segments so there's one going up here one going up here one going round like this one going round like so one going down like this the pointy bit at the bottom. Another one going round. Another one going round. One more like so. And then one sticking out like this. Now for the bigger segment. So one just starting here, just by the head. Come up, come round and comes down like that. Another one comes up and then comes round. One more behind here, comes up and comes round and then the last one you can't see too well and then the one that comes out from here and then round and then two more so the Galapagos Islands were actually named after the Galapagos tortoise because Galapago means tortoise in Spanish as well as the word tortuga okay so another one here and then a smaller one just behind here. Now we're going to finish off this part. So coming up, doing a line across here. And then just here in the middle of this one, it's going to come down and around. There's another one here, comes down and round. And then this one goes down and joins in there and now for this hind leg so a big wrinkle dome shape like that 
another wrinkle, and another one goes inside. So here we're going to have the long protruding nails. And then joining them all up. And then this one goes underneath the shell there. So if you haven't gone over it in pen already, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. Okay, so that's what it looks like without any pencil lines. Now I'm going to use some coloring pencils in order to color it in. You choose what medium you'd like to use. I'm gonna start off by covering the whole entire picture using this color, yellow ochre. So I'm going to colour in all the areas in darkness or in shadow in this brown colour. So these giant tortoises don't eat a lot, mainly they graze on grass, but they have a very slow metabolism. So they can actually go for a whole year without eating at all. And they can also store a lot of water in their bladder so they can go without water as well. And they spend a surprising amount of time sleeping. They spend 16 hours a day sleeping. Oh my goodness, I would love that. Wouldn't you just love to spend 16 hours a day sleeping? Oh, it'd be amazing. And their shell, this shell, is part of the tortoise's skeleton and it can't be removed. It's called an exoskeleton. So I'm just going over these lines just to make them a bit thicker here. I'm just going to speed this up now. Now I'm going to add a combination of grey and this dark blue and black to the areas in the centre of each segment of the shell. So I'm just going to show you the first one. It's going to delineate more or less where I'm going to be drawing. Just cover it in grey. Doesn't have to be too neat. I'm going to be adding this darker blue and then lastly black on top. I'm going to go over it again with some brown just to kind of like uh, blend it in with the rest of the shell. And then I'm going to go over these kind of creases, the little bit of black just here, I'll show you what I mean. Make it look like it's got some more depth. There we go. going to do that with each little segment. So I've done that to all the different segments. Now I'm doing the really dark areas here behind the neck inside the shell. And I'm pressing really hard with black. We go and particularly on the wrinkles do a couple more here and here on the underside this front leg
and then underneath the neck. And now particularly underneath here, anywhere that's in shadow. And then to give the impression of scales, I'm just going to draw very light lines in black. And I'm going to go in, the, in a diagonal direction. draw out some larger ones here just very lightly I don't want to draw every single one of them just want to give the impression center of some of them. I'm going to add a little bit more shadow underneath. Pressing a little bit harder now. And then to help blend areas in, just using an eraser. Give it a bit of a smoother finish. Particularly this area underneath here. Just want to blend it all in. And here is my finished giant tortoise drawing. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed this one, you're gonna absolutely love this one. So check it out now.